Hey, 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 what's up, boy? What you want to do? Shut up, baby, 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 daddy, boss of the street, man. Today we in. We go be in Houston with it, y'all. Now, look, I've been trying to put this little story together and I can't seem to find it. Uh, It's a story that Wack keep repeating. Wack 100 and Junior. Now, y'all know Wack 100 and Junior don't see out of eye. Now, we're talking about J. Prince Jr. And J. Prince Jr. put out a little statement calling himself responding to the main statement. And then some people said he was trying to talk about whack. Now, J. Prince Jr. always talks. It's like he's talking riddles. He's not never saying nothing. He goes around and around and around. And, you know, he made a statement. And he like, man... When somebody talking, man, and they flow, we we don't try to capitalize on they flow, cause we we know they flow. You know, we we deal with real people, and we don't take advantage of the flow. People, who are, or we deal with real people that's on our level. We we don't deal with flow people. We know street niggas that's weak as hell, and you know just. A bunch of rambling, if you ask me. He never listened. Anytime you start a conversation and you just as confused from the beginning to the end, you did not do a good job explaining yourself. You need to stop talking. And J. Prince Jr., for you to supposed to be so sharp, you cannot make us understand. That's because you'd be too scared to just say people's names and say what it is you need to say. You need to uh, grow a pair of balls, nigga, or stop talking, period. That's why your daddy always trying to talk gangster because he figured, hey, you stay, you you running around beating up strippers from what I'm hearing and allegedly raping strippers after hours. You know, how, what type of nigga got money and still can't get a bitch? You know, you still got to beat up a stripper. Going to whack and all those three women. That, and I heard this a few times before now, y'all. This ain't nothing to know. This boy is really uh, not cool, y'all. Now, this is what Wack is saying happened. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, y'all. J. Prince Jr. goes to a nightclub. The word on the street is he had a chick in there, a stripper chick he's fucking with. She in there with her other guy. And he, man, I know one thing, she better come on up out of there because she leaving with me. I don't care who she in there with, she going home with me, you know, and he talking real jazz and dude like, she ain't going nowhere but you, nigga. Who the fuck you think you talking to? And they had some back and forth, but Jay Prince, Junior got a bodyguard. They start, so the bodyguard goes to intervene and get shot in his face, y'all. Shot in his face, allegedly. Shot in his face, which makes Junior do the hundred yard dash. Naturally, the guy who's gonna defend you and got you talking crazy is shot and killed. Yeah, I guess I would run. You know what I mean? My man down. You know, now, if I'm J Prince Junior, you know, I'm chicken. He gone. Or you should learn how to shut up. But he ran, y'all. The man that lost so much juice down here in Houston, he ran to another strip club. They who let the door? Junior, man. Somebody just got shot. Don't let that nigga in here. They did not let the man in the nightclub. Why? Because they like, he is not bringing that shenanigans in here. He already done got a nigga killed in the parking lot. He not going to bring that drama in here. We ain't it. Ain't no problems over here. You not finna bring that situation from there to here. So I understand it was actually a good call, whoever was at the door. Because that would have made them same crime scenes connected. So after they didn't let Junior in, and then Julie, he runs to his car and jumps in the back seat and hides in the back seat all night. You know, wait to traffic. 
that I don't know when he feels it's safe enough to use, jumps in the front and boom, hit it to Atlanta, y'all. Left his bodyguard dead on the floor, just like he did the damn Migo. Every time somebody get killed, you panic. Everywhere you at, somebody died. The last guy died, you was at the dice game. We had the boy from Chicago die. Then the Migos go down there, bam. Same, another dice game, one of them die. Now here it is, you at another nightclub, bam. Now somebody else die. It's time for you to come out of the streets, young boy. Because you ain't putting no work in. you just leaving bodies around. That means everywhere you go, people was taking shots at you and people with you or whatever going on with your situation. You need to uh, back up off of it. Because you ain't heavy as you think. And I tell y'all, that boy is not a gangster. He's the son of a gangster. And... From what his daddy been talking loose lips and all this lately, he losing a lot of juice too, which is why Junior getting so much animosity in the street now too, because his daddy losing juice down there, y'all. His daddy losing juice down there. And you know, I, I know people in Houston that then text me and like, hey, Sharp, you know, um, you know, Jay Prince don't run the whole Houston, bro. He only run the side where he at. I'm like, yeah, I know that. I already knew that. You know, that's what, what's the name that was talking about? Uh, when the Migo got killed, what's the guy? Ooh! He said he should have called us and hung out with us. And dude said, what you trying to say? I said it. I ain't trying to say nothing. I said it. He should have hung out with us. Ain't nobody getting killed on our watch. They getting killed over there on y'all watch. You know now the guy name is Mikey, the body guy. Will somebody try to find me that article down in that news? I don't know where I can't find it. They said the name of the club is Do Not Disturb. Every time I put it in here, whack come up. He the only person that covered it. Whack he, he Oh man, he's the only person that covered it. And I done put it in here a few times and and, and Wack keep popping up. Listen to what Wack say, y'all. He say, Wack, man, help me, man. You better hope don't nothing ever happen to the old man. This is this what hey, Wack was talking to J. Ass. Prince Jr. one day. Dude losing some credibility, too, though. This last shit with Cameron and Macy. It's been working against him. Yeah, I'm waiting to hear back about that other shit. I ain't hear nothing about no shooter. He did. Uh, they, they, he that nigga, ain't that nigga. When that, when that happened, you said yeah, last night? They happened, uh, Monday, what's this? Today, Tuesday? Or where is it? Today is, uh, that happened Wednesday. Monday night. He said the police was there until 7 a.m. He sent me there yesterday. Taped off homicide. I'm trying to see how to miss that. I'm, but I hit my niggas though that would know though. I'm, I'm going to see what's up. Right. See, everybody, now he talking to a little bitch behind the camera. I know who that is. That's a, that's a, I know exactly who that is. But I'm seeing pictures of the nigga and all that. I ain't seen nothing but nobody being dead. Though. No way. Yeah. Me, me yeah. either, y'all. Here we go. This the nigga right here. Hold on. I, I know exactly. It's a black nigga. Talk. Yeah. Yeah. That's him right here in the PTR. Well, you the block. Yeah, that's him right there. To the left. Yeah, that's him. Now, anybody find that down there? Let me turn it off. Look, I ain't, I ain't seen it, y'all, but I'm just telling y'all what I heard through Wack 100, you know, and he explained it. Obviously, somebody was on the scene that was dead at night and synced it. They sent him pictures of the crime scene, taped off the guy who was shot and killed. They was dead. They know what happened with Junior and all that. So, 
I don't know. I ain't no YouTuber picked the story up yet. I still ain't seen it. Every time I put it in there, whack come up. He's the only one that said something about it. Now, this just happened, like he say, Monday, this Tuesday, or Wednesday. And here it is Friday, and ain't nobody still covered it. You know? So, uh, I got to get in touch with some people down there in Houston and see if they can send me that newspaper article or whatever. Let me know what y'all think about that, man. Uh, yeah, J. Prince Jr., he losing a lot of juice, man. A lot of juice. And him and his daddy, they both losing a lot of juice on the street. You know, man. That's bad. This boy leaving bodies everywhere. And they ain't, they ain't even talking about retaliation. They ain't here. J. Prince Sr., you talking about taking shots and taking up for the uh your boxer you need to uh take care of your boy when y'all will retaliate for some of that shit all that is a mess down there y'all leaving trails of bodies everywhere and y'all doing nothing about it you know and like oops another one dead oops another one dead oops you need to talk to your boy and be like man you need to start running behind these women man then check this out. Jazz Prince don't get in no problems. Well, he get robbed every other day, but other than that, that's because he ain't out here trying to act like a gangster. They don't even approach him like that. They walk up on that nigga. You know what it is. Take that off, bro. Man, bro, he just, huh? All right, go ahead. Go ahead, little junk, little guy. No, just take his jewelry and let him send him on to the penthouse. Ain't that something? He be sitting in front of the penthouse sometimes. He pull up, hey, hey, let me get that chain before you go up there. Let me get that watch, bro. Wax said the boy done been robbed five times. I'm like, wow, that's, that's crazy. Now, it's smart you getting money like that. I ain't saying die for your jewelry. Don't do it, you know. Either stop wearing jewelry or pack you a pistol, get you a bodyguard, or do something different. That's all. But, hey, teach his own. People have to live their own life. I ain't got to tell you how to crash out. You crash when you want to crash, you know. You get tired of anything, you'll do something about it eventually. Nobody likes to be picked on, you know. Nobody likes to be picked on. And nobody likes a bully, y'all. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Support G Shrimp. Everybody favorite baby daddy. I just did this here video, but uh, I will not be doing no more videos until Monday. We'll take a free break. And when I take breaks, that means I'm, I'm plugged from all this because I've been going hard all week. So I'm finna relax and uh, we got a little party we go throw today and uh, that's what we go be into. So it's your boy G Shump. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We on the road to 20,000, man. It don't cost you nothing to subscribe, y'all. Tell a friend, subscribe. If you like anything about the show, subscribe to the channel and tell somebody to uh, check it out. You know. They may like it.